It started when Irwin Arthur Sr. became renowned for his ice creams at family potlucks, where each gathering held the delightful anticipation of a new and unique flavor. That would be the thing I would bring because normally as family we I'll bring some, uh, something to the, to the occasion, so that would be my thing. So everybody would wonder what new flavor I would bring this year, and I usually just try to keep it a little secret until they actually see what flavor I brought. For Irwin Arthur Sr., those family gatherings were a chance to unveil his latest homemade ice cream creation, keeping the flavors a guarded secret until the big reveal. It was a tradition that sparked curiosity and then a bold suggestion. They, when they taste the quality and the, 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 the unique flavors that we tried to make, they said this could be a business. And when you look around Ladyville, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Ladyville, there's not much places like that around there. I mean, of course you'd get the store-bought ice cream, but um, you wouldn't get something unique as this. That venture began spreading joy one scoop at a time through a family ice cream business called Arctic 10. 20 year old Irwin Jr. jumped headfirst into his new responsibility. At first, I was a bit shocked because it's just something we do for fun, but it was very challenging starting a new business. But we just found ways around that. We didn't let the pandemic discourage us from starting a business. For example, the Ladyville branch, if you've ever been there, you would see it's an open air, outdoor style. Mm -hmm. The reasoning behind that was because we didn't want to have to close our shop due to any new protocols or COVID precautions. And it was also for the safety of our customers. So it was challenging, but we just found ways around it. The residents of Ladyville were quickly impressed by the homemade ice cream ranging from alcoholic infusions to imaginative ingredients conjured by the father. The community then got involved, making suggestions and recommending new flavors. We have a suggestion board in the box that's always open for our customers to leave any suggestions they would want us to try and make. So based on that, that's how we come up with the new flavors. I think one of the things that mainly helps us with our um, weirder outlandish flavors is that we use a natural ingredient so it's always easy for us to bring out the flavor because we don't really use like flavoring or essence or anything artificial so whatever we make it has the actual item in it. Um, when the Ladyville residents started to spread the news um, we didn't do much advertisement but they started to tell us a lot about um, we drive all the way to Ladyville, we need this in Belize today, we need it. So, I mean, we kept hearing that every Saturday, every Sunday, and I mean, after two years, we said it's time and we made the move. Arctic 10 is more than just an ice cream shop. It's a symbol of family, community, and the indomitable spirit of turning challenges into opportunity. As they continue to serve up scoops of happiness, the Arters family reminds us that even in the face of adversity, there's always a bright side worth savoring. I want them to be satisfied. I want them to taste what they asked for or the flavor that they requested with appreciation. Um, that's one of my big things as appreciation. We have to let people know that they are not just a random person to us. They, they actually mean something. Looking on the bright side, I'm Sabrina Daly.